Hey guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so in this Android tutorial, we're gonna create a simple login validation form by making use of MVC. So first of all, we will learn what is MVC pattern. Okay, so MVC stands for Model View Controller. It is a software design pattern used for developing UI interfaces. MVC pattern is a way how information or a data is being presented to a user and how the user interact with the data view. Okay, so in MVC, uh, there are three kinds of components uh, as you can, as you know, that is model, view, controller. Here model is nothing but a data, a view is a UI design and a controller where all the task is being performed by a user. Okay, so this is the architecture I have designed. It has view, model and a controller. A view uh, is something that user interact with. A controller is something that controls all the logic uh, components. And then there is a data model where all the data is being updated. Okay, so this will work something like user sends input to a controller controller will send the same data to a data model and data manipulate uh, data model manipulates the data and sends the updated result to a controller and the controller reflects all the updates to ui design okay so now let's move to android studio to build a login validation form uh, showing an example of mvc pattern okay Okay, this is my Android Studio and this is my mobile device uh, that has been connected with USB. Okay, so I have already created a UI design that has uh, edit text the for email and edit text for password and a button. So this is the code, XML code for it. Okay and i have already initialized all this uh, basic requirement uh, by find view by id and everything i have done okay so in mvc mod uh, login validation form you need to create three packages by name model view and a controller okay inside these packages you need to create interfaces uh, i will name it as i view login view and in model i user and in controller i login controller okay and inside this uh, interfaces you need to create some methods or a function for example you can see a string get email to get the email get password to get the password entered by user and the validation uh, function and in login view you need to create uh, two methods that is on success and on error uh, this is just to show a toast message on the screen to a user and in controller uh, you need to create uh, one function that is on login that accept two parameters that is uh, email and a password and inside this you need to implement iuser interface and implement all the methods uh, then create a variables to hold email and password now create a constructor uh, to construct email and password and get email and get password will return password and the is is valid will check if the user entered correct the validation of email and password or no here we have various if statements uh, for example you can see if uh, email is empty then it will return zero then if else the pattern uh, it will match a pattern with the email address it should be uh, valid email address for that i am making use of pattern and the matcher to get the function to get the data from get email and then we are comparing it and then we also 
uh, need to check if a user entered uh, entered a password or no or the text field is empty or everything okay then in and we also need to check if the password is uh, max more than six characters and if everything this is covered means if, if if it is valid then it will just return minus zero if it is not then it will just uh, return one two three depending on the validation okay then in controller you need to create one more package this file java file by name login controller you know login controller you need to implement uh, uh, interface that is i controller and implement the login on login method and here you need to create a object of a login view of the interface i login view and then just create a constructor and then in on uh, login you need to create a object of a user as you can see user user is equal to new user and here you you are accepting the email and password then in i am creating an variable by login code and over there i am storing what the data will come from uh, this uh, users user is valid function and i am comparing it if uh, login came uh, login code is equal to equal to zero uh, then the message will be uh, pre please enter a email means the user has not entered any uh, data into a text fields and depending on that if else statement there are various if else statement okay so as you can see one one is for uh, if if the user enter enter invalid email and two is for the if a user do not enter any password and three is for the password should be more than six characters likewise and uh, in else you just uh, print a success message on the screen that is on success by calling on success function and we are passing a message uh, that is uh, login success so as you can see over here zero one and uh, two two is for if a password is the if a user do not enter any password and just press the submit button and same thing for others okay so now we will code in main activity in main activity you need to create a object of a login controller interface and initialize it with the uh, this context okay so here you need to implement uh, i see uh, i'll log, login view and here you need to implement this both the functions in this both the functions we are just printing uh, the message on the on the screen by making use of toast message just copy paste the message the message will come from uh, here uh, ic controller that is the message and it will get printed and then you just need to pass the user entered text to the ic controller interface for example by you making use of get uh, get text dot to to string dot trim and for password the same and let's check the app now Okay, so I will just uh, rerun the app. Okay, so now the app has been restarted. I will just enter some random text in email field and I will enter some random uh, password. So as you can see, invalid email address. And I will just enter dot com at the rate dot com. And I will just, uh, now as you can see, the password character should be greater than six. And then I will just enter empty it and it should be entered. And I will just enter seven characters. 
So as you can see, the validation has been success and you can see the message that login successful.